This unit introduces a cellular process called meiosis. In order to understand how it works, we need to talk about some vocabulary terms first. We previously discussed nucleic acids, and so they were an important biomolecule to all organisms. So, are you referring to DNA, right? Uh, deoxy yes. Yes, ribonucleic I am. acid. Correct. Oh, this molecule right here. Right, yeah, DNA. It gives the instructions for every detail about an organism. The specific order of its nitrogenous bases makes up the genetic code. So, uh, does the word genetic um, have the word gene in it? Yeah, um, it does. And I was, made, I was wondering, are they related? Yeah, they are, and you made a great connection there. Genes are made up of many DNA nucleotides, hundreds of them all in a row. So, wait, are these genes different from the blue genes that we're wearing today? Yes. Oh. Genes are a segment of DNA that code for a particular trait, like eye color or hair color or any other trait. Um, not like these, they're even spelled different. G-E-N-E -E instead of J-E-A-N. Okay, that's They just right. sound the same. Okay, so um, how do chromosomes then fit into the picture? I'm glad you asked. Chromosomes are many genes linked together, so they can be thousands of nucleotides long. Oh. Um. These two diagrams show how nucleotides combine to form DNA, and that many molecules of the nucleotides um, combine together to form genes, and the genes uh, link together to form chromosomes. So the basic unit is the nucleotide. So is it true that every organism has a unique number of chromosomes? Yes. So humans have 46 chromosomes in each cell except for one type, the reproductive cells, which have 23 chromosomes. This is a picture called a karyotype, which shows human chromosomes. Notice that there are 46 individual chromosomes that are paired up in 23 pairs. I want you to look at number 9 in particular. I've labeled them. Uh, number 9 has um, showing you one of these chromosomes comes from your mother, and the other chromosome comes from your father. So, um, do all plants and animals have 46 chromosomes, like humans do? No. Actually, not all of them do. For instance, turkeys have 80 chromosomes, mosquitoes have 6, and rice plants have 24. Oh, that's interesting. I'm curious about chromosome number in many other organisms, so maybe I'll search that on Google tonight. That sounds like a fun idea. <laughs> You might remember that in the process of mitosis and cytokinesis, the nucleus and cytoplasm of somatic cells split to make two new daughter cells that are identical to the original. Mm, I heard you say something, somatic cells. What are those? So somatic cells are all the cells in your body except for your gametes. Um, somatic cells can be many types, like your skin cells or your muscle cells. Okay. So um, any time our body needs to grow uh, or repair uh, the cells. Mitosis will occur to, to do that? Correct. Okay. But then um, what are gametes? Oh, so gametes are sex cells or reproductive cells. So are gamete cells that have sex? No, not exactly. Oh, okay. The gametes are the cells that are specialized for reproduction. So in Gametes are sex cells are haploid or N that have one of each chromosome. These are haploid. Somatic cells are all or their other cells besides sex cells are diploid and they have two sets of chromosomes. So these would be sperm, egg, or spores, for example. And these would be skin cells, muscle cells, uh, root cells, uh, things like that. In females, gametes would have egg cells, and in males, gametes would be sperm cells. Oh, that's how we all begin, right? With the Correct. negative sperm. Yeah. So, uh, what makes these cells different from each other when we talk about chromosomes? Uh, that's a good question. Every somatic cell has two copies of each chromosome, one from each parent. But gametes have only one copy of each chromosome. Okay, so in humans, gametes only have 23 chromosomes, but somatic cells have 46 
chromosomes, you hit it on the head. Um, somatic cells are diploid, which means they have two copies of each chromosome, while gametes are haploid, which means they only have one copy of each chromosome. Okay, okay, so let me repeat this. Um, so for humans, uh, diploid cells have 46 chromosomes. And um, or 23 pairs, so 23 mm -hmm. times 2 is 46. And gametes are haploid, they only have 23 chromosomes. That's correct. Okay. Somatic cells are diploid. All the ones in this picture below have two copies of each chromosome. Gametes are haploid, uh, so eggs and sperm have one copy of each chromosome. Humans have 46 chromosomes in our somatic cells. Remember, somatic cells are um, everything besides our reproductive cells. Um, and 23 chromosomes in our gametes. And you can see an egg and sperm combine to form the zygote. So they're going from diploid to haploid to diploid. I want to tell you about homologous chromosomes now. Hmm, homologous. Uh, would that have something to do with being the same? I remember the prefix uh, homo means same. Yes. Homologous chromosomes are produced during DNA replication and the S phase of the cell cycle. So in those cells, there is double the amount of chromosomes needed. So those uh, cells need to reduce that amount of chromosome, right? Yes, they do. These pairs of chromosomes get separated during a special uh, kind of cell division called meiosis. You're going to learn more about that in the next video. Okay. So what are homologous chromosomes? I have designated in this drawing that blue be from your father and red from your mother. So the unduplicated undupl chromosome on the left from your father gets replicated in the S phase of the cell cycle. Um, when the mother's chromosomes and the father's chromosomes line up side by side after uh, DNA replication, I want you to know that uh, these chromosomes have many genes on them. These genes will carry the same type of information. So homologous chromosomes carry the same type, type of information. And in this case, uh, these chromosomes may have hair color and eye color on them.